Hey guys, what's up? It's your boy, the Knight of Justice, back again with another power scaling video. In this video, we're going to be doing something a little bit different. I have done my very first tiering system, and I thought when I want to make a tiering system, I thought what verse would be so simple, easy, and not much time put into it, but some time put into it to where it's good for you guys. A tearing system that is interesting and kind of has some controversy behind it. And I just decided to do a tearing system on the characters within Osiris Wrath, which I have been kind of promoting on this channel for a while now. And I am doing a video next on Yasha and his scaling mostly it's kind of a character video but I am doing one on Yasha and I might do one on Deus it depends on like what you guys want but for today we're going to be doing going into this tiering system that I made we're going into this tiering system and we're going to start from G to A so for G uh, oh also in this video I'm going to be fair as possible, and I'm going to give some points on where characters can be, and where they should be, or how they can be placed. If you guys have like any issues with it, you can make your own tiering system in the comment section, and I see it, I'll think, hey, that's good for you, but I'm going to go off the tiering system that I made and if you guys like it cool if not yeah it's all right we all have our we all have our different takes on how the scaling in this verse goes but let's all be civil and kind to each other while we discuss this I have been seeing some very aggression some um, very much aggression in my comment section so let's be civil on these kind of things all right it's just fictional verses let's not get heated Cause I already got a feeling on some of the things I'm gonna say in this is gonna be very talked about, but I don't care. Either way, uh, let's get into it. Let's start from G to A. So for G, we got Wizen and Ashura. In a few parts, moments of the game when you're playing out Ashura, you are fighting Goma. Wizen comes in. He fight. He engages with you, and you fight him. You beat him down in his base form. He transforms into his like other giant form you fight him for a while then he overpowers you eventually then you go into Osira six arm form and then that Osira overpowers that version of Wizen and then Wizen gets a portion of the mantra from the Karma Fortress and applies it to his own making him the size of Gaia and then we have this version of Asura is eventually overpowered by this version of Wizen. And then he gets a rage boost. He remembers what happens to him in the past, how they betrayed him, how his fellow deities betrayed him. And he gets a rage boost. And then he seamlessly obliterates Wizen so hard that, <laughs> oh my god, it's, it's crazy. Then after that you have Yasha comes in and then pretty much bodies Osra when he has no arms. A pretty much weaker Osra. But moving on to tier F. Now this is where I hear people have a lot of contention. Because I hear people say that Wizen should be above the likes of Sergei, Kalro, and Olga. Because well he sighs and I'm assuming he's got a portion of the karma fortress to amp himself but I'm not going to be rude on those people's thoughts but let's go off what we know in the game so in the game we see that Olga states that she cannot believe that Asura was able to beat Wizen even when he got an amp from the karma fortress and then Kauro comes in and states well, Wizen was the weakest out of all of us. So let's go off this statement and make some arguments to why it can be why it can hold up, right? And then we'll what if we take the statement out and then we'll apply onto that after. So 
let's go on to why this statement would hold weight if we go off what's later said afterwards. So when this statement is made, they are not surprised or impressed by um, Wisen's performance when he fought against Osra. They were quite not impressed. They thought he did poorly, that he wasted so much mantra on Osra, and it was all for nothing. And even um, even August, who is a guy who loves to fight the strong, strongest people, he likes to fight strong, strong opponents, he himself is also not impressed by Wise's performance. In fact, he says that he is retarded. Well, I wouldn't say that, but if he said it, he is he was a fool to believe that if you since you got bigger means you will automatically win because you think you're stronger. No, he wasn't impressed by his performance. In fact, when Dale said that, well, Wisen should be able to take care of him, it should be like a wrap up. And August states, nah, I think that it'll go a lot, some things will go a lot differently. So he was more on the side for Osura, believing that he was on the more side for Osura than for um, Wizen, because he believed that Osura would pretty much take down Wizen. Even even when he was even like surprised that he didn't take that he like took him down he was like um he was more so like uh crew him right he he was like say oh that's my student of course he would take him down the fool believed he got bigger so it'll mean he he he's a lot more stronger than his opponent no and when Tauro makes a statement. No one else disputes his word. Not Deos, who was the leader of the seven deities. Not uh, Olga, Sergei, or August, the guy who loves the fight. So, even so, they are convinced that with Tauro's word, that Wizen is the weakest among the rest of them. So if we apply that statement into account, that would mean that Olga, Sergey, and Kauro in tier F will be above Wizen, even in the final form. Because, let me review. One, they were not impressed by his performance, even when he got power from the Karma Fortress. They, two, they can't believe he wasted so much mantra on a pointless endeavor. A seemingly pointless endeavor afterwards. Three, um, August, who is a guy who loves to fight strong people and is pronounced in people's strength, was not impressed by his performance and said that he was dumb to believe that strength, that his, that his size would equivalent to a strength and that he would actually believe he would win because of that. Even, even though it does, he says that um, Wizen's a fool to believe that since he got bigger, he would win against Osura. Uh, four, after Kauro makes this statement, um, Deos, Sergei, um, August, uh, and Olga, I and mean, Yasha, if either Yasha left after that, but even so, with them there, they did not dispute his word. They were pretty much confident in his word and trustworthy, trusting in his word that he was right in his statement. So if we take this statement into account, that would mean that everyone in tier F would be above the likes of Wizen. And then people like to say, well, feats over statements. Well, let's also take into account that by the time that they, that Asura fought these people, well, he fought against, actually, Kauro and Sergei. By the time he fought against them, Asura was a lot more powerful than when he fought against Wizen. And then when he fought against Sergei, he was, like, in his wrath form and, like, one-shot at him. Just negged him. And this form is, like, more powerful than his six-arm form and base form. And this form will also scale above August. So you have to also take into account that by the time that like August like Osura fought these guys, he was like way more powerful than when he fought Wizen back then. But like I said, 
if you don't take this statement into account in what I've said, then you would say, then I guess you could say that Wizen would be above them, but then Oscar would also be above them at that time. So you gotta take these, you gotta take this from two perspectives. One with the statement and one without the statement. But that's what I gotta say for like tier F. Now moving on to tier E. Now Aya should well vastly scale above Kauro because Kauro got nagged by six armed Osura. And unless um Sergei and Olga are vastly stronger than him or in the same ballpark as he is, then August would still scale above them. He would scale above them since he fought six armed Osura that bodied Kauro after he fell from the atmosphere into like the spring to recover. So either Osura got stronger, he's the same strength, but I'm I'm likely to think he got stronger. Um, he fought this Osura to a standstill. He fought this Osura to the standstill and to the point where he lost his arms and he cleaved them with his sword through the earth. And Osura was able to neg him after. So and this Osura was overpowering him even in the fight. So there were it was kind of going back and forth, but Osura did prove to be a lot more powerful. Well, a bit more, a lot more powerful than August, even with his sword. Well. I would say a bit more powerful. Either way, um, Asura then loses his arm, fights an entire Goma army with August's sword. Then he gets like this energy arm thing. I'm sure y'all guys remember the um, cut scene with the animated cut scene where he just brutalized the entire Goma like army and Goma like a um, horde. Those hordes of Goma. Then Olga decides that. Osra is too much of a threat and that he needs to be destroyed. So she sends, sends her entire fleet to destroy Osra in this village. And he kills, she kills this girl that Osra think that believed that was that looks so much like his daughter. And it triggers Osra to where the point that he is overflowing his wrath that he bursts and explodes into this wrath form. And this wrath form just completely murders her entire fleet. And she forces her to retreat. Then we have Yasha who fights this wrath form. Now Yasha would scale above the lights of this wrath form since he fought him to a he was fighting pretty on par with him. And they were trading blows. And then, but eventually Yasha like used his power like a good portion of his power against them and uh, defeated him. He just completely defeated this wrath form. So Yasha would skill above this wrath form, six on Asura, August, and then the tier F and tier G, right? Then we move on to tier D. Now, tier D, we have base Deos. He he and Yasha fight in the animated cutscene, and Yasha fights pretty well against him, but it's pretty much implied that, or pretty obvious that Deus is just toying around him and seeing what he can do, because As um, Yasha states that he has a new, a better way, a new plan, a better way to save Gaia, and this plan involves the power that's within them, the power they have, and Deus challenges Yasha to show him his true power, the power he's talking about. And then you can just say that Yasha powered up to his full power at that point, or try to display the power he has, punches Deos, and it does nothing. And then Deos just overpowers Yasha. So this version of base Deos would be above Yasha and the rest. Now, you also have the fact that, um, after this, Ashura comes to confront Deos. Uh, they Yasha and him fight and team up against him. They eventually overpower him together. They overpower him, and then he retreats up into the to the Karma Fortress, to absorb a good portion of it, to where he becomes Indra Deos, to where he merged with the Karma Fortress. Now, 
you fight you fight as Asura and Yasha. Now Asura fights him, he's overpowered. Then Yasha fights him, does pretty well against him, but is also overpowered. Then um it's shown that um Deos is sem seemingly healed or powered up. And then Asura gets like a rage boost in his six arm state and then fights Deos in this form and beats him and over like just beats him. So you could say that um I would kind of say that either Yasha and Deos or you could say that Deos may be above Yasha at that give it maybe above Yasha a bit. Or you can see that Yasha just got is so like comparable to like Asura that it just makes the difference a lot better. So I would say you could say that in tier D between Yasha and Deos, Indra Deos, they can be interchanged between the two. But given that Asura will scale above him, I'll go into more of Yasha's scaling when I do his video. But I'm just giving you guys a base grasp on where he should be at this point at least. So, moving on to tier C. Now, Vitra Core appears. Um, no, well, Vitra appears. Um, Yasha and Six Arm Asura go to fight this uh, this this version of Vitra, right? Just normal Vitra, and they fight and do pretty well. They do a lot. They only need like the they only even need the fleet and the rest of the seven days like they didn't like in the first part of the game. So that proved they got a lot stronger. Um, they do pretty well, but they are eventually overpowered and defeated by Vitra until Mitra boosts their mantra to the point where Yasha is powered up to where he's rivaling Mantra Ashra. And they overpower Vitra and they go into the core of Guy to where they confront core Vitra, Vitra core. And Yasha, like, um, Asura states, like, man, he's strong with a smile on his face. So they fight this Vitra and they eventually overpower him and defeat Vitra, like, clearing up the entire Goma issue. Like proving, proving that they didn't need to do all that genocide and stuff. That they defeated Vitra with their own power. So Vitra core would scale above the likes of Deos, even Indra Deos, since Indra Deos was defeated by Six Arm Asura and Yasha before they got amped. So. And he, Vitra Core was like fighting on par with them and they defeated him. They defeated Vitra. So, Six Arm Ashura and Yasha, when he, when they're powered up at this point, along with Vitra, would scale above tier D, E, F, and G. Then, after the whole Chakra Varden, like, re creator revealed business, um, they then go to Gaia. Um, Yasha like gives gets the Monterey core reactor, and he embeds it into Ashra's chest so he can control his wrath better. So he wanted to go into that wrath form state to where his wrath is not leaking out. And then Yasha fights this version of Ashra, and they fight pretty evenly, but. Of course, Ashra defeats this version of Yasha, and Yasha dies because he gave his mantra, he gave his reactor to Ashra, also powering up, powering him up. So at this point, Ashra with the mantra core, and along with Yasha's core, adding him to the other mantra, is more powerful than. Mantra Asura, Yasha, and Vitra Core at this point, along with Yasha when they fought each other. So they were still above their previous selves when they fought against Vitra Core. Now, tier B. Whew. Uh okay, so 
Chakra Farden Golden Form is below um, Ashra the Destroyer because uh, one, Ashra the Destroyer was able to absorb the energy blast that was launched at Gaia. And he transformed into the state. He was also destroying multiple everything that Chakravar had thrown at him. He destroyed it. Um, then he destroys the entire construct to enter this pocket realm, to where he's going up against the actual Chakravar. And then you have Mantra, like this version of Ashra, like destroy Ashra fights against. This version of Chakra Varden, and they fight relatively, but Ashra eventually overpowers him and then defeats him in this form. Then Chakra Varden gets serious and he transforms into his creator form, which is why we're getting to the final part of the video into tier A. Now, tier A, um, Chakra Varden negs. Destroy Ashra and the rest of his arms, right? Until to a point where Ashra is in his base state. Ashra is then pushed to a point where his wrath has never been. He's pushed to the absolute point of his rage. And this powers him up in his base form to where he's able to fight toe to toe with this Chakra Varden and then defeat him. So. The way the list would go at this point would be now Asura and Chakravarn are actually the strongest in the verse. They're the strongest in the verse. Then you have then you have six armed destroyer Asura and Chakravarn, also giant destroyer form Asura and golden form Chakravarn in tier B. C, you have Monster Reactor and Yashra, who scales this Monster Reactor Ashra. Then you have Mantra Ashra and Yasha, who scales it that Mantra Ashra because he's able to keep up and damage Vitra Core, who is below these two. Then we got Tier D. You have Six Arm Ashra, Yasha, and Indra Deos. Like I said before, you can either switch Yasha and Indra Deos between the two. But we're going to keep it at with Yasha above Ender Dales for the sake of argument. Because he was skilled at this sixth form Ashra. Then after that you have Yasha and Ashra kind of being relative to Dales to the point where they push him back. I guess you can say between the two it could be either one. But we're going to stick this for the sake of argument. For tier E you have Yasha who scales above um, Raph Ashra. And Raph Ashra scales above his previous self, which is Six Arm Ashra, who scales above or is relative to August. August would scale above the lights. August would scale above everyone in Tier F, which is Olga, Kauro, and Sergey. And then at that point, he would also scale above the lights of um, and everyone in Tier G, which is. Um, Ashra at six arm, and then why isn't then why isn't this final form? So that guys is the my very first first tiering system, my very first tiering list on Ashra's Wrath. I hope you guys enjoyed. Um, if you guys like the list, give me a like, uh, subscribe, um, hit the notification, share the video. If you guys have your own formula list, put it down in the comments below. I'd like to see it. Um, I'm just going off how how the way I interpret the fights and the scaling within the verse, how I think that it should be. But if you guys have any other like ways you will place the list, I'm very open minded. I'll if you have like good arguments, I'm willing to hear it out and I could change my mind. Who knows? But going off what I said, and I was very civil in this video, very peaceful with what I said. I hope you guys are okay with it. If not, hey, whatever. If so, cool, cool. But I just went off how I seen the fights be played, how I played the game. I love this game so much, and I will also continue to do more content on it in the future. I want to bring back Ashura's Wrath. I do not see many people talking about it nowadays, and I, it's such a good game, and I want to bring it back on the map. So 
I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you like the video, like I said, like, share, and subscribe. Comment down below for whatever you want. Hit the notification button for more videos in the future. And stay tuned for that Yasha video when it comes out. And I will see you guys next time. Peace.